All right, what's going on everybody? It's still hot out here, but today we're gonna to talk about something that's gonna be coming up extremely quickly. We're gonna talk about my top five fall baits and we're already starting to see the shad kind of migrate into the pockets. We're starting to see the shad hanging around super shallow around all these types of isolated cover. They're moving back into these creeks and the fish are starting to bite. Kind of the same type of bait. So we're, we're kind of in the late summer, early fall type of a transition right now. It can be an extremely tough time to fish. And I've heard my entire life about this fall feed up, how good the fish bite in the fall and all this type of stuff. And I have never seen it to this day. I've had some good days in the fall, don't get me wrong but I've never seen that consistent fish just crushing it in the fall. So we're gonna kind of walk through the baits that I use to kind of cover water, target a little bit bigger fish, and really try to imitate the bait and the shad and the bluegill and everything the fish are kind of feeding up. And I'm gonna kind of walk y'all through the types of cover and stuff that I go through. So first things first, I'm gonna just talk, tell you what I'm gonna start off with almost all the time in the fall, and that's gonna be a buzz bait. This one right here, I do have a topwater toad on the back of it that just helps me kind of skip it around, helps me reel the bait a little bit slower. This is gonna be a bait that I just cover a ton of water with in the fall. I'm typically gonna throw more of a shad imitating style, you know, trailer on back, like a white. This right here is a green pumpkin because I was trying to imitate, you know, some bluegill. And I feel like you put this in front of any fish, they're gonna kind of bite it the same. I throw this on 50 pound Sunline X Plasma. This is a 7.4 to one gear ratio reel and a seven foot three heavy rod. This is really going to be a bait that I'm covering a lot of water with, especially in low light conditions, rainy, drizzling, the wind blowing, whatever it happens to be. I'm just going to throw this whenever I feel like I can get a reaction strike, you know, shallow sea walls, over lay down trees, any time that I feel like, you know, the fish are extremely aggressive and I feel like I can catch a little bit bigger quality fish on this bait. So this is going to be the one that I pick up the first in almost every single morning. So from there, we're going to go straight to the next covering water bait. And that's gonna be a, a smaller profiled square bill bait. This right here is the Spro Little John. This is actually the root beer chartreuse color. Just got this one in. Haven't caught a fish on this one yet, but I know this color is gonna crush them. But this is a bait that I do, have been throwing for a while. Throw a lot of shad imitating baits this time of year. I'm gonna to try to get on the shallower, so shallower, steeper type of a bank. So that means that I don't want to fish the super flat stuff with this. Typically in the fall, I want to fish more kind of the straight up and down types of stuff and crank around bridges and riprap and anything like that. Stumps, lay downs, anything where I feel like the shad are moving and the bass are set up trying to ambush bait. This is going to be one of the main baits that I throw this time of year. It's got a really good, small, narrow profile which really imitates those shad perfectly. And this is a bait that I can cover a lot of water with. I can get bites if it's early in the morning, late in the day, sun bright, clear water, muddy water, whatever. This is just something I leave on the front deck, but I will change the color of the bait depending on the water clarity and stuff like that. So I throw this on a seven foot medium, moderate cranking rod. This is 10 pound Sunline Shooter. If I'm throwing around a lot of wood and stuff like that, I'll throw it on 12. I do think that for this bait in the fall, probably throwing a 12 or 14 pound line is a little bit better standard to throw because I am trying to fish pretty shallow with it. I don't need it to get super deep and I'm gonna to try to cover as much water around this heaviest cover that I can find. So I wanna have a little bit um, heavier line so I can move them fish a little bit better away from the cover. So seven to one gear ratio reel because I am covering a lot of water going pretty fast. And that is my second covering water bait. Now from there, this is a bait that I cover a lot less water with. This is whenever I feel like there's a lot of bait or a lot of stuff and I, I know a very specific ambush point like a, you know, a big bluff point or, you know, big lay down tree or something. I won't throw it up around the tip of it. If I know there's a fish in an area and I can't get them to react to another bait, I'm going to pick up this jerk bait right here. This is a Spro McStick 95. It's just a shad pattern. It's one, actually, this pattern has become one of my favorites. It's not a super bright white. It does have a little bit of contrast to it and it does, you know, really imitate the baits profile and size so the Spro Mix Stick 95 has been the jerk bait I've been throwing recently and this is just like I said if I see a, a big point that drops off quick or something or I feel like I know a place where the where the bass are sitting there waiting to ambush bait and I couldn't get them to react to the buzz bait or the square bill I'm going to pick up this bait and I'm going to throw it I, I usually throw this bait on 10 pound sunline shooter a 8 to 1 gear ratio reel you know my thing with reels is any bait that I'm working with the rod I use a fast gear ratio reel because all I'm doing is reeling up the slack and then reeling up the fish with it. So if I'm more, like the jerk bait, I work the bait with the rod and then all I do is reel up the slack. So I want to make sure this reel is as fast as possible so I reel up that, that slack as fast as possible. I can reel that bait in as fast as possible and make another, make another cast. So I feel like I can make more casts in a day using the 8 to 1 gear ratio reel. 
10 pound line this is a six foot nine medium light extra fast point blank blank this is probably my favorite blank to throw it's so light it's so much fun to throw this thing but just like i said this is whenever i feel like i know where the bass are sitting i'm gonna try to dangle this in front of their face and entice them to bite now from there if they're being a little bit more stubborn and i feel like they're around a little bit heavier cover this is the time of year where i'm going to go back to the jig profile instead of a creature bait this right here is the untamed tackle ace jig this is alabama crawl and it's got the alabama crawl missile mini d chunk so it's got a lot of orange in it really imitating crawfish and stuff like that but this is whenever i feel like those fish are in the tips of those trees way back under those docks any type of a heavier cover where i feel like they're primarily eating bluegill or crawfish this is the type of bait that i'm going to throw I feel like in the fall, the jig profile gets a little bit better bites than like a D-bomb does. A D-bomb really excels in the summer, pre-spawn and stuff like that. But this jig in the fall seems to get a little bit better quality bites. And a lot of times, they'll really react to this jig a little bit better. So I keep this thing rigged up on 20 pound Sunline Shooter, an 8 to 1 gear ratio reel. And this is a 7 foot 3 heavy extra fast this is actually a heavy extra fast point blank rod so this is the one that i skip around docks a lot y'all see me in a lot of videos throwing this thing around and catching a bass or two on it this is one of my favorite baits to throw in the fall if i can get me 10 or 12 bites on this in a day i'm very very confident i'm gonna have a good bag and do pretty well in the tournament so pretty excited about that now if the fish are being extremely stubborn i'll pick up a dang worm this right here is a Nico. I throw this around the, the more sparse, isolated cover. If I'm fishing, you know, a rock bank or something and I see a stump on it, or I know there's like a lay down log or something that doesn't have a lot of branches and stuff like that, I'll just kind of pitch this up around that kind of sparse cover and let it fall down anywhere that I feel like there's really a bass sitting. Just kind of like the same place that I would throw a jerk bait. You know, as a reaction bait, I'll throw this as kind of like more of a bottom bait. If I know there's a bass there, I'm really confident there's a bass there, I'm going to put this in front of them before I leave. So I've got this with a Titan Tungsten in the head. This is a really lightweight. I can't remember the exact weight. I think it's a maybe like a 364th or 564th or something like that. Either way, it's pretty. It's really, really light. This is a four and a half inch, inch missile quiver in green pumpkin. And that's a one alt Gamakatsu tournament grade wire. It's the Aaron Martin's drop shot hook. But I really like that for Nikos too. I have this on 12 pounds Sunline. This is the PE times eight. The Siglon braid, and I've got it tied to an eight pound Sunline shooter leader. This is a seven foot medium light fast rod that I built spinning, and it's just a 2500 size spinning reel. So I try not to use this, but whenever it gets tough and you're in a tournament and you need a bite, this is kind of one of the baits that I pick up in the fall. So those are my five fall type of baits. It kind of covers all the water column from two feet deep all the way down. I can throw that jig in 12 to 15. And I don't usually fish much deeper than that fishing in the fall. So hope y'all enjoyed that. Let me know if y'all have a tip and trick that y'all use in the fall to get y'all a couple more bites or a couple big bites. I'm really interested in how y'all catch some really big fish in the fall. I know a lot of people throw a topwater walking bait. I like covering water a little bit faster and staying a little bit shallower so I go with the buzz bait. But let me know y'all's favorite fall bait in the comments. Leave a like, hit that subscribe button. Let me know if y'all want to know any kind of these kind of you know tips and tricks videos. What do y'all want to learn more about? And I do appreciate y'all watching. Thank y'all. We're about to go fishing with all these baits right here. Appreciate y'all watching. Check out the next video because it's going to be what follows.